you're yelling at me right now. Just drive. I want to drive. <laughs> okay. You good? Yeah. I have. Left. I have relieved the helm. We just left Port Largo for the first time. We're heading to Hawks Channel, going to be staying in Marathon Marina tonight. The dogs have been good. We put them in There's... the bee berth. And so far it's been good. I, I got off the dock. My heart was pounding so much, but it was like no big deal. It was also like five knots of wind when we left, so it was nothing, which I appreciate. And right now I think it's probably like eight knots. Well, it's not too bad. I think once we get to Hawk's Channel, we're going to put the jib up and then sail a little bit downwind. in Marathon Marina. We moored up about an hour ago and it could have gone better but it could have gone worse with mooring. I mean it's been a while. The approach was good but we did get help from our neighbor sailboaters. They ran to help. <laughs> we got the bow line on but then I just couldn't get my butt in because the wind was blowing off the dock and then I started to panic which wasn't helpful. Motor sailed pretty much, no, we motored pretty much 90% of the way because there was just not enough wind to get us here on time. Like if we didn't have a schedule, we could have sailed, but it took 10 hours to get here at five knots. We have the AC cranking. 
We dodged a million lobster pots. But overall, what do you think? We didn't need a toe. Yeah, see, and we didn't gone. break anything, so I see that as a win. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck lobster pots. Yeah. There's so many of them. <laughs> so tired. I'm so beat. <laughs> I steered like 70% of the way. Yeah, I know. I forgot to hit record. for someone who hasn't moored in a really long time and it's only been the second day with this boat. I'm out of breath, I'm also dehydrated. We're just currently packing everything up, putting it in the car. We're gonna drive home, drop the dogs off. They did really well. Uh, we went through a small little squall. I feel like Goober got a little bit of seasickness and he threw up. Um, but Panda loves it. He is like jumping up on the bow with 
like we just moored up and he's up on the bow walking around so <sighs> anyways we're gonna go home drop the dogs off and then drive two hours two and a half probably like three hours north to go to, to go get our other car that we left in Key Largo when we went to go pick up the boat I think we're going to save the champagne popping the cork for when we're at home a little bit more relaxed because right now it is incredibly hot the dogs still need to go for a walk to go pee it went pretty well though could have gone worse could have gone better but could have gone worse Just...